Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Joy and for today, we are going to talk about this palette that I got last, someday, uh, last Sunday at Sephora. So last Sunday, my husband is very, very sweet and he let me get um, a baptismal present and he let me get this palette so just disclaimer this is not the first time that i posted a video regarding this palette i already post a video um i think yesterday but unfortunately i made a mistake i pronounced the last name of the owner wrong so when my friends told me about that, I didn't think twice. I just um, erased it and I want to correct myself because I don't want um, to disrespect the owner. This is the palette that I, I am talking about. This is the Moschino Plus Sephora um, the laptop palette. So this is retail for $60 and it has um, like uh, different um, items that comes with it but this is the only one I got because this is the only one I afford so let's be reality $60 is $60 so I am not going to push my husband's limit so but uh, I want to talk about some concerns regarding the collection of the Moschino so I heard about some um, people that saying that Moschino um, copy uh, the idea or the concept to a small company named the crayon case company so I look up um, crayon case company website and when I see the Moschino line at Sephora I can say that yes they they have a similar product or items same in the crayon case company so we are going to talk about that first, the items that the, there's a similar with the other company. So Moschino and the Crane Case Company has um same as um, the eyeliner that looks like a Sharpie. So Moschino has that and the Crane Case Company has the same thing. The only difference I think is the price. If I'm not mistaken, the Moschino is $18. And I think the cry crayon case companies range six dollars to eight dollars. But of course, I can't tell um, how they perform since I don't have them. And then the next item that I noticed that they have similar similarities or the same is the sponge eraser. So um, Moschino has that, and the crayon case has a same thing and yes the difference is um the price as well moschino is more expensive than the crayon case company and then moschino has this highlighter and they focus when you say highlighter it's supposed to be highlighter so they focus on that so it looks like um you know the highlighter pen and when you open it, it's going to be like you're just going to swipe it um or use it just like a highlighter and then the crayon case company has this like a highlighter pen and they use it as um concealers so when it comes to the eyeshadow um i think that is where they have difference so the crayon case company focus on eyeshadow that is looks like a notebook while moschino um i think they step up the idea with that and they create this palette this laptop palette but we are here to talk about this particular product that i got from sephora which is the laptop um palette and um, I'm going to talk about the packaging first. The packaging is very cute. Like, you know, this is like a very cute, like it looks like an Apple laptop. And actually, if you are not going to use it, you can just display it on your vanity and it's going to be really look cute. And 
actually if you're just going to cover that and put a mac or the apple sticker over here you're going to think that it's a macbook so we are going to talk about the palette itself so we are going to start with the packaging so this is the packaging so when you open it it's going to have a big um, mirror in here so there's still a plastic over here i didn't take it off yet and then this is supposed to be your the monitor and then you're going to get this eyeshadow that's supposed to be your keyboard and then there's one in here like a cleaning sponge that you can um supposed to be your touch bar or mouse pad i think and then it's supposed to you can clean your brush in this when you want to reuse it to the other color so they don't miss they don't mix but for me it really don't work at least for me maybe you can use it if you're going to use the same brush and for the shimmer shades so this come has the um this palette has this protector as well so this plastic in here this has the name of each eyeshadows in here so if you want to know like what is the name of each eyeshadow you can't lose this so you can just put that here and so you have the list of the eyeshadow so when you do a video you can just look it up and you know the name of each eyeshadow so maybe um at least they should just you know put the names on each you know like each bar or over here just like the other palette just like that maybe they at least put a little bit more space so you don't have to always skip this because it's a hassle because if you want to use this um mirror and you're gonna put that it's gonna be a hassle or if you're going to put your you're doing your um video you're just gonna keep on applying your makeup and you're going to look at this and applying your makeup looking at this this is the eyeshadow so there's some browns pinks purple greens blue like that and there's a very pigmented silver and gold so i used that palette to do this look so if you're interested to know how i did this look i'm going to upload the video next so this because this is going to be the first one i'm going to upload this this since is since this is uh the replacements of the video that i made um the other day that i erased so uh maybe i can put the link on the description box once it's already uploaded but stay tuned for that we are going to talk about the color payoff of the eyeshadow so for me um if you are uh, the bright color or the so we are going to talk about the color payoff of the eyeshadows so the color payoff is good it's pigmented but i can say that the dark colors which is the greens the blues the the bright pinks are more pigmented than the purples the browns and the light colors they are more they are more subtle color but of course you can um squeeze it to reach the um the the color payoff that you want to um achieve so you can do like you can f use a s setting spray like a brush you're going to spray it and like you can use it as a foil eyeshadow doesn't matter so you can do that but if you're going to ask me about the color payoff they are awesome they are pigmented so i think um my money is worth it so since we are talking about the pigmentation and the payoff so i just want to give you a heads up if you are the kind of girl or person that you want your 
um, foundation first, um, to put foundation first than your eyeshadow, you have to be aware that this um, eyeshadow has a little fallout, especially those shimmers. So the, there is some glitter that falls on your face. So I suggest that you can use um, like this one. This is like a shadow shield that you put it on under your eyes or you can use a uh, loose powder to just put a loose powder in here so if there's a fallout you can just easily swipe it off but if you're like me that likes to put your eyeshadow first before um putting your foundation that is okay you can just um use a wet wipes or a makeup remover just wipe all the fallout before you put your foundation on overall i am recommending this so if you are thinking to buy this i think you should and just a piece of advice don't focus with the issue of moschino copying um the uh the crayon case company because this palette is very cute and i think if you're a collector just like me it's going to be one of your top favorite so i think just go ahead and buy it and of course if you're like me you're a housewife um save money just don't push yourself to buy it right away there's a lot of um uh stocks at least on my sephora I, I so friends, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, I really appreciate if you're going to subscribe. And please turn your notification bell. So if I have a new video, it will notify you. So once again, thank you and see you guys on my next video. Bye!